Hello. Hello. And welcome to the February 2009 new monthly show from Beer the Blog. Yep, and we've got a new format this time where we will be showing you clips from some of the videos that people have produced. But you can also watch all the full films online at www.beeoftheblog.com. OK, and last Monday, 15 community reporters from across Manchester and Salford came down to Exchange Square in central Manchester to show off their films on the BBC screen in the Triangle. Uh, Channel M and Manchester Evening News pop down um, to video us and here is a clip of one of our community reporters on the day. Um, well, I've always suffered with dyslexic. Right from, well, I didn't find out until I just left school. And I've always, um, I struggled with reading and writing. And uh, so I, d I did uh, sort of a little talk about it. You know, I was struggled and I just kept going back to further education to learn to read and write. And I ended up getting there, but it took me 15 years. And in the end, I got there. But, you know, I can read pretty, pretty good and the spelling's not too bad. So, so you're sharing that story? Are you? I am sharing that, yeah. yeah. What do you think about seeing your work on the big screen? Oh, very, very good. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, and thank you to John for that. And uh, on Monday, you also announced the winner of the East Manchester Storytelling Video Competition. Yes, I did. And Caroline is the proud winner of this iPod Nano. Uh, I spoke to, her, uh, spoke to her this week and she can't believe that she's won. So here's Caroline's story. I'll tell you a very, very short, very short story, but something that happened to me in 1973. 1973 when I was 13. And my pal Aileen Hamilton was 13. And we were real terrors, real street kids, smoking, you know, and hanging about the streets, a bit of graffiti. We were real little monsters, actually. But anyway, we, we went into Glasgow one day and we needed um, Steiner um, hair dye, which was a powder um, that you put in your hair and it gave you grey streaks. And we also needed Slade socks. And these were striped socks that the group, the, the band Slade used to wear. So you couldn't go out with it silver streak. You couldn't go out. You, couldn't, and you, had, you needed these socks. Oh, you weren't in the gang, you weren't part of it. So we had 50 pence between us, which was quite a lot of money. You could buy a single in those days, but we went into Glasgow. Um, myself and Eileen, a girl called Morag, and another girl called Joan, um, all but the same age, 73. And we decided we were going to nick this stuff. We went out with the intent of shoplifting. 13 years old. And it was dead thrilling and exciting, but really scary. So we split up. Two friends went one way. Aileen and I went into a shop called Lewis's, which is a huge, big, big uh, department store at the time, very much like Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> We walked up and down and up and down and we saw the slide socks and we saw the hair dye. So it was one or the other and we decided to nick these things. So we looked about <laughs> checking for um, store detectives and stuff and we thought nobody can see us and we got the hair dye and we stopped it and done our, uh, well, done our knickers basically. Um, Aileen had the, the slide socks and she'd put them somewhere and we made for the door. And it's Saturday afternoon, these department stores are absolutely mobbed. So you were crushed. And we're quite small, you know, we're pushing our way through these adults and we just get outside the door and I swear to God. It was the store detectives and they took us away and uh, they called the police. And I can remember we sat crying and crying, begging them not to call the police, just to let us go. We'd do anything. We'd be good. We'd become Christians. We'd never smoke. But no, the police came, and they actually they, they took us away. They didn't handcuff us, but they, they put us into this um, just this big police van with darkened out windows, so we could see people in the street, but they couldn't see us. And we were taken to this really old jail. Um, and I remember it was a stone cell. And there was bars on the window as well as glass. And Aileen and I were sitting in there, 13 years old, you know, but this time we were, we were was distraught and I was just stunned at the silence. And the door opened and they pushed in this other girl we'd never seen before. And she was, well, she could easily be 17 or 18. She, was, she looked like an adult. 
anyway, um, she's saying, what are you in for? I was a wee big, wee big caught shoplifting. Oh, you're going to be in trouble. So the, the police came in then and said, would you like something to eat? And with that, they brought us in these big sandwiches, big, thick slabs of bread with meat in them, and gave us them and shut the door. And I was just about to bite into me when this girl said to me, Oi, wait a few minutes, she said. And she started emptying uh, lipsticks and eyeshadows out of bra. Made us put them in between the sandwiches to eat them so we could destroy the evidence. <laughs> I swear to God. That was enough for me. I don't remember that much about it until 25 minutes later we heard this, this commotion outside. And here was my two other mates. They get caught shoplifting in boots. And that was the four of us sitting in the police station in Glasgow in 1973. And for almost 20 years after that, I used to be afraid of applying for a job in case they asked for a CRB check. Of course, we only get, you know, we got a slap on the wrist and told to go home. And I never offended again. End of story. <laughs> I think I was. Yep. So well done, Caroline, and to all the people who entered the competition. Yes, well done. Um, so, David, I believe that you have been hobnobbing with North West Tonight. The community reporters from East Manchester and Salford went behind the scenes of North West Tonight. And then they did an introduction to journalism course, which was led by Jim Clark, who's the editor of North West Tonight. And what they're going to be doing is they're going to put together a film uh, all about the BBC's move to Salford. And we'll hopefully have that for you next show. I look forward to seeing that. Yes, and we've also been working with the BBC, this time with Steve Rowling, who's a reporter. And he's been working with six young people from the Bang of the Voice Youth Project in East Manchester. And what they did was they created a video using mobile phones. And we're going to watch that now. This is BOTV Activity Day in Claytonville. Here we are testing the milk bottle to see whether it will sink. Successfully, after we tried it with a bit of difficulties, it did not sink and we tried with a teddy. After many attempts, then we tried the bear. Do you this bear's a suicidal one? Could be. There's Connor the murderer. Ready? Go. Think it's dead? No. Ted is a survivor. There's all the instructors. And there we are. Successful. Ted is still alive. We started off with a bigger circle. Then we went on to a smaller circle which we are to cram in. The circle is made small so it's an even bigger shot. And well done for that, that looks very good. Um, so as always at the Be of the Blog offices, we are working on some number of up and coming events. So we are looking for a team of volunteers if, uh, to help out. So there are a number of things that you can do if you're interested in helping out with that. The details will be coming up at the end of the show. Okay, and for those of you that have been waited with bated breath, the photography club is now up and running and it's every wednesday from half past five and that's at the manchester college uh, openshaw campus which is on ashton old road which is also the home of the city east library as well correct so be there or be square yeah. and finally david and finally jessica we have just launched the b of the blog radio show which is now every other tuesday from 2 p.m on all fm 96.9 so if you have something to say and you want to get on yourself on air, then get in touch. Yep, and that's it for this month. But don't forget, if you want to get involved, you can come along to one of our drop-in sessions, which are held in Beswick, Clayton and Openshaw. And for details of those, then visit the B of the Blog website at www.beoftheblog.com. For details, well, of course, you can find out about everything else we do. But if you want to drop us an email, you can email me at david at emsin.net. Or you can email me at jessica at msyn.net. Or, of course, you can ring us on 0161 230 1430. Okay. Thanks. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye.